Hello and welcome once again to Captain Goodspeed Maths. I'm Joe if you're new around here and today we are discussing the OCR FSMQ new specification and in particular the factor and remainder theorem. So the learn objective today is to be able to understand and use both the factor and remainder theorem. So let's get into it uh, straight away. What is cubic substitution? Let's let's think about it. So, uh, just an extension of quadratic substitution. There's three golden rules which uh, you, you must not break if you're doing this. So, negative squared to be positive, negatives cubed to be negative, powers are calculated first, then multiplied. So, if we have an example, f of x equals 2x cubed plus 5x squared plus 7x minus 4, then work out f of 3. So, Everywhere you see an x, you stick a 3. So we've got 2 times 3 cubed plus 5 times 3 squared plus 7 times 3 minus 4. And then, uh, as you see, expanded out, you've got 116. So what is 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus x plus 1 divided by x plus 2? Well, if you watch uh, the last lesson in the course, then you will know that uh, you can work this out and you get a remainder of 7. But what happens if you put f of minus 2 through? Well, you also get 7. Is that a coincidence? Let's have a look at another one. What is the remainder when x cubed plus 7x minus 4 is divided by x plus 3? Well, using last lesson's work, uh, we uh, divide it using uh, long division and we get a remainder of minus 52. But what if you put minus 3 through the original function? Well, you get minus 52. Is that a coincidence? Well, of course it's not. That is the remainder theorem. So what is the remainder when x cubed minus 3x squared plus 7x minus 5 is divided by x plus 3? Well, we could go through the big long division process and find the number at the bottom. But I can't be bothered today. I could be bothered yesterday, but I couldn't be bothered today. So we just put minus x equals minus 3 through the cubic, i.e. make the bracket 0. So if f of x equals that, then work out f of minus 3. So we say minus 3 cubed minus 3 times minus 3 squared plus 7 times minus 3 minus 5. And uh, we get that. Remember, a negative square cubed to be a negative and negative square to be positive. So we get minus 27 plus minus 27 plus minus 21 minus 5 which is minus 80 so that is the remainder of uh, that when it's divided by x plus 3 let's do another one uh, is f of x equal to x cubed plus 2x squared minus x minus 2 uh, is x plus 2 a factor now a factor means does this function equal 0 when you stick minus 2 through it so there you go, is the remainder 0. Yet again, you could go through the big long division process and find the number at the bottom and see if it equals 0. Yet again, though, I can't be bothered. So we just put an x equals minus 2 through the cubic and see if it equals 0. So if f of x equals uh, x cubed plus 2x squared minus x minus 2, then work out f of minus 2. So stick a minus 2 everywhere you see an x and then work it out and you get 0 therefore x plus 2 is a factor fantastic stuff so example 1 what is the remainder when 4x cubed plus 2x squared minus 6x plus 1 is divided by 2x minus 1 so just put x equals a half through the cubic the thing we're doing here is making that bracket 0 so 2x minus 1 is 0 when x is a half so that is what we're doing so we put a half through uh, and we cube a half and we square a half and we times it by 4 and 2 respectively. Uh, take off 6 times a half, I don't know why I've left x in there, but times 6 times a half plus 1. So you get a half plus a half uh, minus 3 plus 1, uh, so the remainder is minus 1. So the use of the factor slash remainder theorem, a polynomial is given by uh, f of x is equal to 2x cubed plus ax squared plus bx plus 4. When f of x is divided by x plus 1, the remainder is 3. And when divided by x minus 1, the remainder is 1. Find a and b. So you might be thinking, what on earth do we do here? We can't use uh, long division because we don't know what a and b are. So what we're going to do? Well, let's go with what we know. So 
we know that uh, when it's divided by x plus 1, the remainder is 3. Uh, and we also know that when it's divided by x minus 1, the remainder is 1. So what I would do here is split your page in two, stick your functions on, uh, on the left and right hand side there, put a minus 1 through first, because remember we want to make this bracket 0 first, so we let x equal minus 1, and we know that uh, the remainder is 3. So if we put a minus 1 through this, we get a remainder of 3. So put a minus 1 everywhere you see an x, so you get uh, minus 2 plus a minus b plus 4 equals 3, so therefore a minus b equals 1. Okay, that's as far as I can get. Let's go on to the other equation then. So now we know when it's divided by x minus 1, the remainder is 1. So here we go. If we let x equal 1, then uh, we can set the other side equal to 1. So f of 1 is equal to 2x cubed plus ax squared plus bx plus 4 equals 1. Everywhere you see an x, replace it with a 1, and you get that. Rearrange, and you get a plus b equals minus 5. So I've got two unknowns and two equations. I'm thinking simultaneous equations. So we've got a minus b equals 1, a plus b equals 5. Uh, I like to match the middles. Luckily the middles are already matched here, so we add them add them together and we get 2a equals minus 4. So a is a minus 2. Sub that back in to one of the equations and we get b equals minus 3. And just to show off, stick it into the uh, original equation uh, and say f of x is equal to 2x cubed minus 2x squared minus 3x plus 4. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where we are at. That is the factor and remainder theorem. Uh, as always, the, the lesson will be uploaded uh, onto the Google Drive, so you can go through it at your own pace and work out um, exactly what I was going on about here. It is quite a tricky concept, but uh, the uses of it are brilliant and... Uh, you know, you, you will probably be asked uh, a question on this in the exam, but go through it and uh, try and work out what on earth is going on. If you found it helpful, leave a like down below. If not, then let me know what I can do down in the comments to uh, rectify that. If you've got any questions, also let me know down in the comments as well. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, best of luck for your FSMQ. Uh, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.